Harper wants to keep running. The side will put it down, but it only takes the Agassi model. VP. Oh, Void Spirit. Come on, one for two. It's gotta be. Yeah. It's a Void Spirit. Well, we're on point there. What do you think about this OG Draft Black? How do you think it comes together? I like it quite a lot. Neither uh, of the supports on both sides is going to oh, control first the first blood down at bottom. They catch out Tiger. Takes a step too far. It's a pretty strong lane for both of these sides. Can can pretty much swing either way. Yuragi right now is being... Can they dive him? They're looking they at it. They're looking at it, and that'll be another kill for Team Spirit. The Snapfire's life here, but again, the relentless aggression coming out from Collapse and Mira. Yuragi, he is struggling to deal with it here. Those shields not lasting long enough, though. The shotgun comes down onto Collapse, so trying to chase him down to Yuragi. Won't quite find the kill on BCM. the LC. BCM's in the house, though. Can he get himself the kill onto Mira? He's looking for the slightly easier one, but tether back over towards his teammate. Yuragi and BZM on the chase. Do they have the damage? I don't think they do. They're now going to have to get themselves back. The rotation isn't a success. You're 16 years old and you've just been uh, taken out of school to go play for some... Oh, hold on. We've got a play coming out from OG here and they're going to be able to grab the Poshka. It's just a position of five, but, you know, it's their first kill of the game. So we'll give them... There's the arena that cuts the trees. There are traps in the woods. That... Oh, BZM. Maybe in some trouble here. Mana. Yeah, completely dry here, trying to make his way out. He's got just enough for one more charge up to the high ground for Toronto, Tokyo. He's just being fueled up by Mira here. Tiger's going to come in, try and help out, but I'm not sure there's much he can do. The right clicks are in and BZM is gone. And now they turn their attention to the next target, but OG, they're rotating a lot of heroes in for this, but as our team spirit collapses nearby, but they realize they've caught Mira and they're saying, hey, you know what? It's a worthwhile sacrifice. Goodbye, little Io. We will get our claws out of there. Which could be really nice. Another factor Mira. in this game. Ooh, oh, Tiger just a little bit off the mark there. He uses a glimpse, but it's just kind of mistimed. And now, well, it's going to be a bit of an awkward death here for Tiger, unfortunately. Down goes the Disruptor. Yikes. Sure, uh, Some deboarding teams. happening by Tyga, and they're moving all heroes bottom. Poshka. Yeah, they want it. So that is just going to be a quick kill onto the Poshka. Very quick kill, actually. And now in comes the Orchid from the Storm. Look at just block the Disruptor straight off the bat. There's the AoE silence gone. Is a buyback available as they unleash the Kisses down? Can they catch him out? Misha trying to predict it. Doesn't quite work. And now comes out the Yules to stop that duel, but they're going to get the kill regardless as the Storm jumps back in. Collapse brings down Amara. Now BZM going in deep. He's looking for something here. They might catch Toronto Tokyo. Zip away. They need a little bit more. BZM and chasing hard under the tower. Cookie is out. Damage is there, but it's not enough. Toronto Tokyo surviving for now as they bring down another team spirit. It is all them in this game, really? baby. 16 and 4. To make some kind of retribution play. Yes, they've got an Aegis. Yes, they have a 10k gold advantage on you, but you need to do something. And BZM's going to start this off with the Yules. Arena comes down. Do they have the control? I think they do. This is going to be, I believe, the first core kill for OG in this game. Um... And more. Toronto Tokyo is not done. He's looking for more. He finds Amar here. Amar, though, he's got the spear under the tower. Does he have any help coming his way? He does. The cookie's there. All right. Age is gone. Now they need to deal with Mira is the issue. I'm not sure they can do that. Oh, Tiger, he's looking Mipushka. for the static storm, but Maposhka is there to stop it. That is a huge play from Maposhka, actually keeping the storm spirit alive. And also setting up for a kill as... Oh, okay. Cheeky little bonk onto Mira there. Once again, they're finding the hope. Jumping in the middle lane, Maposhka. It's got to be tempting, but... OG, in we go. Yep, yeah, they're going to go for it here. Just jumping on the Hoodwink. Did cut off that uh, ultimate, but it's not going to do a thing. They will get the kill into the pos 5. Another kill for OG. I mean, it continues, but it does just feel like the next play which Team Spirit make, OG have to be ready for it. And here it comes. The jump in from the Storm, looking for the back lines. Ulti attempted from Tiger there. I'm not too sure that was on, but they're going to lose a mass straight off the bat. And with this BKB, the Storm Spirit just seems unstoppable. Going to bring down Misha as well. Meanwhile, BZM being jumped on by Yatoro. Doesn't look like he's got a way out of this as the Root comes out. They'll bring down BZM. And yeah, Team Spirit, they're firing on all cylinders. They're going to catch three, make it four as they bring down Tiger as well. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, you can't blame a guy for having dreams. I've always said that. Oh, it's tempting, it's tempting. Legion Commander, she can't help herself. There is a Mars nearby, but he's not going to get there nearly in time. That is too much damage coming out of Collapse. I don't know how much dual damage there is right now, but they found the Void Spirit down in the bottom lane. He has got the Yules. Will he survive this one? I don't think so. Well timed from Aposhka to bring down the Void Spirit. Stupendous.
Would you rather take a million gold now or one Philosopher's Stone? The answer is the Philosopher's Stone as they jump in here, Yatoro. He's just marching up that high ground. He doesn't care. Jump in for Misha straight on the bat. Chasing him all the way through the team fight with the help of Toronto Tokyo. They will bring him down. That'll be the first kill of the fight. And OG are just trying to scatter. They are not interested. Tiger hiding in the trees, but I mean, you can't even call it hiding. It is it is just a little bit awkward here as they find the Mars as well. Not the hero likely going to go down here as they just take down the big boy. Meanwhile, Yuragi falls as well. Oh my goodness. It is just absolute GG. desolation. And the GGs are called. Yeah, you ain't coming back from that one. Yeah, I'm X, XD. Can we, can we, XD. Uh, would you agree that we kind of saw this happening from the tier one on the bottom lane? When they... It's going to be hard regardless. No spirit. Are they just going to vo go void spirit? Cookie cutter? And the Lord. And yeah, they might expect Wait. the TA to go mid and they just want to follow the OD with the, the TA or wherever the yeah, TA so goes. A... So it's a mid OD then against the. But uh, when you're playing versus a Monkey King, that's usually what teams do. Right, they switch things. Nisha. Yeah, he's. Uh, I, I, I don't think he's living through this one. I'll, I'll, I'll just say that. Goodbye, little lion man. You're not as brave. Will get away, but still bully that lane for a time being. But there's both, both supports committed to. Oh, hello, not. Mira. Not again. Oh, Tiger. One more hit. It will be enough. I mean, that's kind of ideal circumstance, right? You've removed that Dark Willow from the lane for such a long time. He already has the ring, so he won't be zoned. He shouldn't be zoned out of the lane any longer. Wow, OD Meteor Hammer, there's a new one. Oh, Misha turning up to the bottom lane and getting a decent amount of damage out onto Toronto, uh, onto Yatoro. Yatoro getting himself back will be okay, so it won't be a kill. Meanwhile, up at top, though, Tiger in some trouble, but Collapse also getting very low here as Yuragi will be able to bring down the Underlord. Yes, Tiger dies, but. Health. Uh, he went close to TA and then astralled himself. Bottom lane. Yep, and they've got the Nightmare in this, allowing TPs to come across from OG, and of course Misha's back in the country, however he has been stunned up. Uh, now, the counter-aggression comes out from OG, they're piling in the damage onto the Willow, they want to get this kill. Toro, considering going in here, just decides to take off the bug, and I think it's going to be Team Spirit who are on the defensive, but Mars going to pop that ulti just to get the kill on Mira, blows him up. They're looking towards the Monkey King, but they don't really want to engage him head on, but now he gets off that Jingu. Point. Maybe Uragi can be caught this time around. He still ha does have his blink. The stun is there. Donk down, Uragi. Taking some damage. The stun's out from Misha. Trying to hold back these four heroes, but it's one man versus the one. He's trying to use his body just to say, please, please leave my core alone. And in a way, it works. I mean, but, um, Okay, top lane. BZM. Might. He got stunned. Oh, Did just on the him? edge. His pinky toe was in that radius there. And that brings him down. However, Tiger's coming in to try and help out here. They don't want to lose their TA just like that. Oh my goodness, a melt strike. It cleaves him in half. Meanwhile, the Monkey King drops down the Wukong's command, but the TA is continuing to turn and fight. They now have to back away as they lose Yuragi. It's a bait, yeah. They don't want to take it. <laughs> oh man, I've, I've been in this situation. Monkey King is just like, I really want to jump this guy. Meanwhile, at the top, there's a bit of action taking place, and this will be their cue to go once again. With Amar showing top, they jump on bottom, but it's a trap once again. Maposhka so very low here, might just tick out to the AoE damage, certainly will, and down goes Mirror as well. It's gonna be two for Yuragi in the bottom lane. I think they know oh. exactly where they're going. Oh, 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 the blink out! They don't catch anyone! They caught now, TA. Okay, who they got? Who they got? It's TA with the BKB available, so they know it's not really great target, but they got the grip! The BKB didn't come off! TA, she might just be dead here! She is! She is gone! Great scream out from Yuragi, but with your TA dead, I'm not sure OG can fight this. They're trying to find a way into this one, but it's just not happening. BZM and Yuragi both lying dead on the ground. Amar trying to make something happen as he tries to bully this OD. He thinks if I can take out one, I might stop them doing Roche, but nope, not the case. Mish is gonna die as well. Amar just goes to the trees and TPs away, and guess what? This is such a short respawn on Roshan, just 10, 15 seconds. Very a little bit, you know? Yeah. You, know, you, you can take the, uh, oh, here we go. Jumping in the front lines. They want to throw up the OD straight off the bat. Great stun in from Misha. And that's going to be two cores dead off the bat. My goodness, there is not a chance in hell for Team Spirit to fight back into OG in this one. They find the perfect angle of initiation. And Yutura's going to get out, but that was just great. Mate. Try and interrupt this Roshan. You're just not, you're not fast enough for this. I'm pretty sure Half there's health. no way you do it. OG are coming. 
Yeah, they're backing out the pit. They realize this might not have been the best idea as they jump onto the Dark Willow immediately. Raggy popping the BKB trying to fight up into this one. But she is getting beaten down pretty hard. But in comes BZM with the damage on to collapse. Meanwhile, Amar just beating up the Bane on the sidelines. Yutura's going to jump on him, but it's too late to protect his support. Collapse is gone. Misha as well. Meanwhile, Amar flying, chasing that Monkey King. He can't get away from the Night Stalker. So he's going to have to jump on those trees. Run, but Toronto Tokyo, he's going in here. What is he doing? He's looking for the target. He brings down Yuragi, but he's going to give his own life for this as BZM's just blasting away from the sidelines the templar assassin completely untouched she's gonna rip through everyone and it is gonna be the fight going the way off og they push down the bottom tower bait move across the map disciplined from og now they might go for it Sleep up onto BZM, but the Lotus is out, which means that they can't really go for the grip. Not that they would anyway, not onto an Aegis target. That would just give OG basically swinging the doors open and laying out the red carpet for them to come high ground if they use the grip from BZM there. But they'll continue trying to do some damage. Collapse just kind of tapping away at that refraction, Amar. getting it down. Meanwhile, Amar jumping to the back lines along with Yuragi here. They're trying to go for the Bane, but I'm not sure they're going to get him. Refresher out from the Queen of Pain as they're able to take down Mira again. Targeting the support so damn hard as Collapse gets straight on the front lines as well. OG keeping a tight formation as I'll drop the hammer down onto Amar in the back lines. Toronto trying his best to take him down. Toronto Tokyo trying to bring him down. He will be able to do that. Amar is dead, but Yuragi and BZM, they are still in life in this fight. But they'll back themselves away. Wukong's command kind of going to waste here, but also forcing OG out of their base. Tiger Mima on the high ground. He's rooted up. He's being taken down. He's got another time lapse to work with, but will it be enough? I don't think so. Tiger's going to die. And look at this. Blink forward from the OD. He's looking for Misha as well. They want to find another plus one to this. OG, they do lose three heroes inside this, but it was a lot of buybacks expended from Team Spirit. Yeah, they forced the buyback on Collapse. Something, Something happened. And put themselves in the driving seat once again. Ultimate popped from Amar. They're looking for a target. They're going to find the Dark Willow straight off the back here. Misha trying to follow up with a Blink in and Hex, but it's a little bit of a messy initiation. They'll be able to keep this hero alive a little bit longer, but no. They just sack Mira. They say, hey, you know what? Side of OG. They're trying to look for Yuragi here, but look at this. He squeezed into that corner. How does he even fit in there? And, well, right now they're looking at the OD. OD doesn't have the BKB, I don't think. Finger is out, the damage is in. Do they have enough to finish off the out of the barrel? I'm not sure. I'm Mark, I'm jumping in with Yuragi once again. Simultaneous jumping from these two. Grip out from the post in the back lines, but there comes the ultimate from Tiger, keeping him alive. Itoro taking damage, hexed up, taking so many hits here. They're actually looking past him, looking for collapse, want to bring him down instead. Now they turn their attention to the Monkey King. Itoro being taken down. Itoro is dead for a hundred seconds. I think Did that you? Might be it as a GG comes out from Team Spirit. OG, say game number two. Yeah, I, I'm actually so happy that we're gonna see game three. Go Lion Mid. <laughs> Dude, Lion Mid is something I would die for. Slada. And then a what, Tinker? Slada? Is this a one sword? What's happening? I think this is a. Yo, one, one Slada. is picking that up. Uh, that's what they said, because I was just staring at Black's cat the entire time. But we have this game underway with some very spicy drafts indeed. And we're going to start things off with uh, BZM here. Probably he's blocked. dying. He's, he's, he's gone here, right? It should be. Uh, really nice blocks by Miposhka. And it feels like in this series... So far, OG's lane's going absolutely brilliantly. A top lane, Taiga. You called it brilliantly and they instantly feed. Why do you do this, Nomad? Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah. not at least. It's a five stack. It's a, it's a lot of creeps, a lot of farm for uh, Toronto Tokyo. But man, if they were just a little bit faster, they would have killed the Tinker, who now kills the Beastmaster instead. Yep. Can't let him get carried away with this game. Meanwhile, they found Misha in the jungle, but with this Tinker behind him, they really don't want to go for this. They just want to back themselves away. Those rockets, they're doing so much on Maposhka's HP. Just four rounds of rockets, and he's going to be dead, throwing a void as well, and that'll make it three. The Toronto Tokyo is still just trying to bottle his way through this, but the rocket spam with Amar That's just being, He's a drone. He's not even playing a hero at this point. He's just giving vision. UAV online as Amar is going to be able to take down Toronto Tokyo. Well, BZM is. And he's still uh, stuck with his same item ball that he would have gone for anyway. Um, he is getting closer to Lincolns, which is nice. Stop lane, Boschka. Yeah, he's been uh, peppered a bit by creeps by a tinker, you know, just sending in the little army, the Chen army. And Misha will be the one to finish the job there. But in comes Toronto Tokyo. He's popping the big ultimate right down onto BZM's face. There's no way out for him. The tinker is gone. 
And that is the first big wreck of the game we have seen. But OG are done. They're looking for Mirror on the sideline. They're probably going to be able to get him here as Amar pops that ultimate and gets on top of that Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend, what can he really do? Toronto Tokyo is just being peppered by poor old Uragi as he smashes him apart, but in comes a roar from Collapse, but they have finished off the kill. There's a finger comes out from Tiger to kill off Toronto Tokyo. Uragi, oh, time lapse just in time. But meanwhile, there's a grip out onto Amar. They found another one, Team Spirit. They are making this fight work for them right now as Yuragi going for the TP away. They do have the vision, but they don't have the interrupt. Yuragi gets out, but a huge fight for the side of Team Spirit. The tier one tower in the middle lane, knowing that this Aegis has now run out. They have this golem up due to that helm of the Dominator. The Chen can't really get a close up stick, but they're just going to drop everything onto the Shadow Fiend. But the Nightmare's going to save him. He pops the BKB, looks for the turnaround, is able to blow up Amar here. The misfire from OG, they don't protect the tower. They lose their offlaner, and Team Spirit lose absolutely nothing for that one. <laughs> frog in the round. A frog, monkey, monkey, frog. Oh, that, that was a hawk coming in at a million miles an hour. It's going to stun up Tiger, and that's going to get them a kill onto the line. Hey, now, this is a much bigger target. They've got the sleep. They've got the rep. He does just to get off the Sakuki, but it's not going to save his life. Yuragi gets dropped. Literally what the hero does. Same what he was doing in that last game, right? But you cannot, not anymore. The, the moment there's roar, you just get oh. roared and beaten down. That, that's yields onto the Tinker. This Tinker's in trouble. This Tinker's in more than trouble. He's dead. BZM dead in the tree line, playing with a monkey. <laughs> it's a Tinker's career. Now maybe they saw something that we plebs didn't. Maybe the courier had a big item on it or something. Chen takes the dragon away. There we go. Our black dragon now. And there's a hex out onto the Shadow Fiend. You're already doing a decent amount of damage. His Lincolns is now gone. Gotta be a little bit careful. It's Amara on the sidelines. He's just getting altered and punched by a Toro. Not the hero dead. Team Spirit, where does this momentum come from? They're just barreling down on the OG base. OG. They want to contest oh. this. This is a messy Roche fight, if ever I've seen one. Both teams coming around. They found the Tinker. Yules out onto the Tinker. Can they bring him down? BZM, go for the TP way. That's not going to happen, though. As Yutora gets on top of him, takes him apart. Mirror is dead, but what does that matter? As Tiger's going to go down as well, being beaten in. And now the ultimate coming out from Toronto Tokyo just to make sure they get the kills here and force them away from the area. But the Tinker, he's back with Yuragi as well. They're doing damage to Toronto Tokyo. I don't think he's got a way out of this one. Goodbye, Shadow Fiend. And Hello Collapse as he's jumping on to BZM, but he doesn't really have much health to work with here yeah that doesn't work out too well for him unfortunately amar still looking for more but it's og who are back into the pit yes it costs them a fair few buybacks from the tinker and the night stalker let's see how this one goes down oh me poshka yeah they see him hey buddy how's it going this is a great pick off for og but team spirit are actually coming in from behind a couple of right clicks thrown the way of the night stalker from toronto tokyo as he's taken to the front lines disarm is out though yuragi's on top of him dealing with the ward first now turning to dealing with the hero so you can see the priority here of toronto tokyo holding his ground with that bkb but yuragi has found mira as well the arena not protecting him at all really and it is going to be team spirit who have to back themselves out from this one i don't think there's a play potential here. collapse hello collapse oh dear yeah he's being beaten in here Yuragi, Tiger, everyone gets on top of him and the Beastmaster will fall. Spawning okay. right now, but they already smoked up. They didn't even wait for uh, the Beastmaster. They need this outpost though. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna know. There is no subtlety to this whatsoever. Because Roshan, he is a tiny a little Roshan baby, but once again, mirrors in with the Yules onto the Tinker. Toronto Tokyo is a top thing as well as Yatoro. They're just plowing into the Tinker. It's good He's gone, but buyback immediately. And BZM knows he needs to be in this fight. This Roshan is everything as they have to grip out onto Amar on the high ground, but they need to take him out. The damage to them, they're not there because they're being shredded by Yuragi as they bring down Toronto Tokyo in response. He has the buyback on the Shadow Speed. Is he going to use it to defend this Roshan? Looks like that he doesn't even have to. They're not really... Okay, he actually uses the buyback. Yeah, they see the opportunity as, uh, now, don't they? They're, they're, there's creeps in the uh, OG base. They need to deal with this. Exactly. They saw the Tinker TP ba base, TP home, but he can come back very easily. Too quick. It's too quick, but Lion jumps in, tries to do something there. I don't know if he got anything from that. I don't think so. It looks like it's all in the hands of Team Spirit, and now this could just go horribly wrong. OG trying to fight here, but the Tinker's on the front lines. That's not a sentence you want to be saying as OG beats. Yeah, it's going to lose his life. They find the Tinker. No buyback on him. Amar trying to fight up into this one as well. I mean, he's punching away at Mira. Yuragi, he needs a miracle now, and right now he's just getting punched in the face instead. 
He backs himself up. Amado is being beaten by Yatoro. The attack speed slider just coming in and slaying him down. Yuragi trying to fight up, but it feels like it's one man versus the world. Buyback is available. Amar, he's going to have to use it here. He has no choice. Yuragi trying to fight up into the entirety of Team Spirit, Protection. but it just doesn't seem possible. BKB be out for Yuragi, but now they keep on chasing him down, and the Roar is there as well. They're going to take down the Weaver. Buyback out once again. They need to try and hold here, but it's three GG. versus five, and they are just going to call it there. No more fight left in the side of OG. The series will go to Team Spirit. Their streak remains are now at 10 series in a row for the TI Champions. They take down OG 2-1. to one.